A long season for the elite men continuing to race. It was supposed to be a triathlon here in Sarasota, but modified to a duathlon at the last minute. Vincent Lewis, one of the top men in the world, towing the line here, trying to get those final points. He has been racing in North America late in the fall after his grand final victory in the Gold Coast. Two and a half kilometers, the opening run leg. Gonzalez from Mexico, taking out the pace quick. Pearson from the United States as well, led through the early stages of the two and a half kilometers, but with just seconds between 45 men, as they came back into the transition zone, it was always going to be a large bike pack starting on the course. Lewis to the right, Tyler Mislachuk to the left, and the men would head out onto a perfectly manicured pavement. The course designed for triathlon, but also a rowing basin in the backdrop as well. Tyler Mislachuk looked over his shoulder, hoping that Seth Ryder and one or two of the other athletes might be motivated to make a bit of a breakaway. And at the end of a very long 2018 season, there was only a few men trying to make that break. And you could see there the vast majority of the men all on the blue carpet at the same time. There was the occasional break, however, and as you see right there from Luxembourg, Bob Holler trying to make a break along with one of the Spanish athletes, but that eventually would be eradicated by the end of the bike ride and out on to the start of the run was going to be a very fast five kilometers to make the decisions for the podium on the day. Miss Lechuk to the left. A very late into the transition zone, Vincent Lewis right there to the right, giving up some valuable seconds to his competitors. And with a bit of a struggle in the transition zone, it was going to be tough for Vincent Lewis to uh, see if he could be the victor in Florida. Doherty, Eanes, and uh, Taylor Reed, the under 23 world champion, would be up front as Vincent Lewis would find himself in a difficult position. The man from France eventually would start to work his way through the field, and Jason West from the United States, one of the athletes who would make an attempt to go with Vincent Lewis. Hoy from New Zealand would be into the group as well, and as the men came to the late stages of the five kilometer run, the cream of the crop would eventually pull away as the man who won the grand final the last two years in a row from the ITU would have a sizable gap. The real battle, however, would be for the balance of the podium with Pearson trying to get a podium racing at home. Pereira from Portugal would try to go after him as well. But Vincent Lewis would claim another victory in his incredible career. Morgan Pearson would be first under the blue carpet, looking like he was in the best position to get himself a victory. But in the end of the day, Vincent Lewis would have time to celebrate his win. Crossing the line in Sarasota, Florida, the battle for second and third would come down to the last meters. Ellie Jeans would claim hit the silver, Pereira bronze. Pearson, oh so close, just missing the podium. As you can see, the blue carpet lined with men to the finishing line. Je suis parti assez prudemment au début sur la course à pied. Je voulais juste rester pas très loin de, de la tête, mais j'ai pas voilà, j'ai géré mon effort. Et puis ensuite en vélo, je suis resté dans le paquet. Je savais que ça allait pas rouler très vite, qu'il allait pas y avoir d'échappée, donc euh, je suis resté plutôt modéré. J'ai choisi euh, d'attaquer direct à pied. Et dès que je suis revenu sur eux, je leur ai mis une attaque. J'en ai lâché beaucoup. Et puis j'en ai remis une euh, au bout d'un tour euh, pour finir euh, pour finir bien. Et puis voilà, je gagne. Je suis content. C'est le cinquième week-end de course, donc le week-end prochain, ça va être euh, repos. I know it, it wouldn't be like a hard bike, and I just have to be really moderate in the first run and staying not far from the lead, so that's what I did. And even more in the bike, I just stay in the top maybe 15 or something and just wait for the 5K run. I had a bad transition, but then after I can catch the guys one by one, it just, I just made my surge after maybe 2K, 1.5K, I don't know.